This is Captain Dave in the Wolf Den, just one more time. What we're gonna do here is a little show and tell and some fishing hacks. As far as fishing hacks go, here's the first one. If you happen to have one of these ugly sticks, it is the Ugly Stick Tiger Elite Jigging. If you happen to have one of these, these are the brand new ones, you know, with the Ugly Tough Guides. I have got an absolute buttload of the older ones that had just the Fuji guides. Well, they do have this rubber butt, gimbal butt here. All right, they do have that with the slots in it and everything to go in genuine rod holders. And this is a little bit to do with something that's also coming up in this video. Well, you're fighting a big fish and this kinda stabs into you maybe a little too much. What you do is you whip out your razor and you go in here like this and you cut a star. See how that is? Cut a star. And instead of buying one of these fancy $15 things just to put over your rod butt while you're fighting a Big fish, a lengthy battle. Forget about that. Here's a picture of one right now. All right, so forget about that thing. You take your little starred cut tennis ball. This is an old school trick. If you, if you ain't never heard of this one, all right? And then what you do, you take it, and you just smush it on there just like that. Now, what do you have? You got yourself a real nice cushion, and all it is is a dang tennis ball. And it gives you the same thing that every other one of these fancy $15 items. That's for sharks, tarpon, king mackerel, anything that you're going to be doing a lengthy battle. Just keep a couple of these on your boat. That's all you got to do. Which will lead us into our next little segment. Here is the new lure box. In my old video, you saw my old lure box for this summer to cover all the bases. Pretty much big fish, small fish, top water, shallow diver. You saw it before. I will be going over everything in this box as a show and tell out on the water or on the boat. Because myself, when I see a lure that I'm very unfamiliar with, first thing I do is I copy and paste the title of that lure name that's usually on eBay or Amazon or someplace like that. And what I do, I go straight to YouTube and I put it in the search and bam, I search for it to see if there's anybody out there who just did a little show and tell. What I'm doing by the other videos that I made, go big or go home. I am gonna be throwing big lures this summer for giant trout, jack creval, king mackerel. I will put in the video description how big a, a lure a speckled trout will eat. They will eat an enormous lure. This is my box, and we'll, you'll be seeing me go over this. I'll put a, all the links below in the video description. Lately, people have told me they don't even know what the video description is. Well, on a genuine computer, it's code lingo that Google uses, Google YouTube. They think that you know the code lingo. So on a computer screen, it'll say, show more underneath the video. You'll have the video, it'll have the name, 
the title of the video, and under, you'll see in little light letters, show more. You click on that, it'll open up an entire thing full of paragraphs of links and things. That's where us YouTubers put additional information. Like when somebody says, check out the links below. Well, I'm gonna say it again myself. Check out the links below of my last lure box video and some other go big or go home videos about various lures. When you've got big lures like this, let me turn on the, I gotta turn on the viewfinder to see if this big bad boy will even fit in the screen. That's a big storm lure. It came with this big box. I keep this big box. Still haven't found one for this though. That giant right there, nine inch spook by Drifter Tackle. But here's another example. There's a Storm flat stick in black chrome. I kept the box. But then again, I had these tubes that as you can see, there's some Yozuri uh, four inch noise lures inside there. These tubes come in handy, but my God, are these son of a guns expensive as hell. Okay, go look. They're not cheap to get like five of them. They're really not cheap. There's other container systems that you could put lures in like this all over Amazon, but they're cheap plastic and they're quite expensive too. And I'm leading up to what I'm gonna show you here. But these things are mighty expensive. So, like the tennis ball, here's a hack. Go to your closest tennis court, tennis club, just while you're breezing down the road and pick up these containers that they have tennis balls in out of the garbage. All right, and look at that. This is better than anything you're gonna get at Amazon. The wrapper is even making it tougher. The wrapper around this too. And look at the size of these things. That's a seven inch spook. That's a seven inch shallow diver. Fits right on in there. Got a nice little lid, got metal around it, snaps tight. So not only do these tennis balls work out for rod butt, and gut savers, but here's a hack. So look at this, two of them fit right in here, no problem, and they'll fit in there with the hooks also. So as you can see, I've got all kinds, look at that, that whole thing's full of nothing but Yozuri uh, mag, what are they called? I don't even remember what they're called. And then look at this, over here is all my little shallow divers, right? There's all my shallow divers. Four of them fit in there with room for more. Stop by the local tennis courts in your town. Hunt around. Don't be in a hurry. You got time, especially you boys up north, because right now, what is it? Still freezing is the reason. But um, it's coming fast here in Jacksonville, Florida. The season is coming fast, and I am going to be all over top water, big lures for big speckly trouts. I'm gonna get them. I've gotten them before. And that will lead up to this topic right here. All right, if you don't remember, I or you don't even care, and you don't ever go there, and you can just move on. But um, I have a very active community page on my YouTube channel. If you don't know where that is, go to a real computer. You can even find it on the YouTube app, but it's really easy on a real computer and you go to my actual channel, Captain Dave Sport Fishing. It's, all you have to do is click my name right under this video and it takes you right to my channel. I know nobody looks at channels. I do though, I do. And I mentioned in my community page how I did a shout out to Weston. Here's Weston right here. And they are on the cutting edge. Weston are from far abroad. And they're big into the muskies and the pike over there. 
Well, I saw that right there, and I said to myself, holy smokes, is that a croaker? But what this is, is it's more than a croaker. I just got this. The, they sent it to me because I asked them about it. And I got with the uh, Weston USA rep, and I'm going to email him right after this video and say, thank you, thank you, thank you. I got it. Because he had to sort of put it in. And then I, I reminded him because I, didn't, I wasn't seeing it. So it just showed up, UPS today. This isn't soft. They're the only ones making a hard swim bait like this. It's got a plastic tail. You're seeing the first look, folks. This is a first look for me, too. And the whole idea about this lure is it's line through. You're going to see me throwing this and trying to catch giant fish on it. it. Comes with, I think this is a 90 pound Cevalon or you know surf strand, stranded brown cable, crimped with a swivel. But what it should do is it breaks away. Okay, let me try it. Boom, there you go. It breaks away under heavy battling. And this should slide through here. And it should slide up the lure. There we go. Oh, okay. There you go. Look at it. They put like a rubber stopper on there. And that goes up into this hole. So it can just break away like that. Or you get like a really big fish. And this will run up the line. And you got this double stinger system here. Is that badass or what so you got this line through system here so then you push that up in there i'm telling you this company is doing some innovative stuff here folks and you take that and you re-stick it back in there bam it snaps in i don't know if that'll wear out over time but i can't wait to see this swim well they were extremely gracious to me and they sent another smaller one that's not a line through but it's that gold color and it's called Ricky the Roach because that would be a little roach minnow type bait and I believe this one's got a soft tail and a hard body so if this gets really tore up all you have to do is you can get replacement tails that one is cool too. To me, it looks like kind of a goldish thread fin herring. All right, so um, this one is probably about four to five inches. Got good weight to it. This has got really good weight to it. Man, you'll be able to bomb this a country mile. It says uh, point or 0 0.5 to 2.m. That's about how deep it'll go. It'll go about a half a meter to two meters underwater. That's all I'm going to need. To me, that looks like a croaker. I'm hoping it'll look like a croaker in the St. John's River. Because I'm going to swim this thing down some rocks, and I hope it gets demolished. And, of course, that's what I'm going to be dedicating this summer's videos to. Kind of the tackle junkie videos is walking the dog with a nine incher trolling a big old broken back like this down the jetty rocks trolling a big old lure like this down the jetty rocks oh sorry yeah baby and you know why it's because i have caught giant trout on giant lures before It can be done. It's not something where you're going to go out and you're just going to bust their butt every single time you go out. Because I've got smaller lures. I've got smaller stuff right in here. You know, here's some, you know, a little evergreen swim bait that I might have showed you before. 
very, very unique. This is stuff for more like along the grass and in the intercoastal waterway and things like that. This is a glide bait. Look at that. How many times have you ever seen one? And I only buy stuff that I think is unique because it makes it fun. All right. But look at the blade. Oh, my God. I can't even move my hand around these hooks. They're so wicked sharp. But look at that. It's got a blade that's in the center of the bait. Those darn Japanese. Gotta love them. Gotta love them. It's got a little soft plastic sort of tail here. No noise at all. That's the reason I bought this. Silent. Stealthy and silent. Can't wait to pitch this out. All right. So that's just some of the stuff that's going to be going on here. But I thought I'd pass on this little hack. Just cut yourself a tennis ball. Really, you could find these on the back side of almost every tennis court in the, in the bushes. But then you could pick through the trash, and these are the perfect containers. You'd pay $1.50 or more for each one of these containers. Each one of these containers on Amazon. And you can get them, you can get them for totally free. There you go. I hope uh, I helped you a little bit. That's the whole motto of this channel is to help you a little bit and to always subject you to new and interesting information, fishing techniques, and to show you what I do here at Captain Dave's Sport Fishing, Jacksonville, Florida. Going on 24 years of full-time fishing guide service in Jacksonville doing inshore light tackle and near coastal and inlet fishing. No long boat rides are required. And a summertime specialty is two-hour kids' trips for little kids below 10. Get them out on their first big-time fishing trip. Out in the, as a five-year-old told me one time, sitting next to me on my leaning post as we went out the inlet. I said, what do you think about this, buddy? He goes, oh, this is Big Wawa. Let's take him to the Big Wawa on a nice day. In a comfortable boat, safe environment, let your kids catch some fish. Up to four passengers, no problem. So, look at the links below. If you're on the YouTube app and you're looking at it right here, way right over here, the show more part is going to be a little microscopic arrow where you're going to have to go get yourself a little field mouse and go, okay, Mr. Mouse, please push that little arrow for me because they're not going to tell you what that's for. I've done a survey. I've done surveys of, of subscribers and people I bump into at Walmart and sporting goods stores and out in gas stations. And we get talking and I say, Hey, on a YouTube app, do you know where show more is? So you can see that video description with all that pertinent information. And they go, huh? Well, it's a little tiny arrow. I'm here to educate you because I want you to help me make my job easier and we get more out of all this. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. And maybe, maybe, what is this one called again? Percy the Perch and Ricky the Roach. Got to remember, it's freshwater stuff. Maybe that will be highlighted and you'll see it in the water you never know i got a lot got a busy schedule and tons of wind and weather to deal with so i don't know what i'll be doing next love it see you on the next one